factorising quadratic expressions. Before having a look at this clip, I'd advise that you look at the one that's laid before this. In this particular example, I'm using negative numbers to show you how the method works when considering negative factors as well. All the steps are exactly the same, you've just got to be very careful about negative numbers. The first thing we do is think of two factors that go into 3. These are obviously 3 and 1, as 3 is a prime number. With the 10, it's a little more tricky. You could have 2 and 5, or you could have 1 and 10. In this particular example, I'm going to choose 2 and 5. Now remember what I mentioned before, the order of these numbers might be wrong, so if it doesn't work, I could try and switch them around and see if I get a better answer. The 3 and the 1 must also have an x following both of them, as it is 3x multiplied by 1x that gives us 3x squared. 2 and 5 both multiply together to give us 10. The step after this is to cross over and multiply. 3x times 5 is 15x, 1x times 2 is 2x. Now the only way we are going to get from these expressions a number that is the same as plus 13 is if we add to plus 15 a minus 2x. We're still adding these numbers together, it's just that they both have a chosen sign in front of the actual expression. Plus 15x minus 2x will give us a plus 13. The important part is what we do next. We feed these signs back in to before the equal sign. And now we need to check that all the signs work. 3x times 1x does give us 3x squared, so that's fine. Minus 2 times plus 5 does give us minus 10, so that's correct. Minus 2x plus 15x does give us plus 13. So that works as well. So now all the calculation parts have been completed and the final step can occur. The final step is to now read across the first line and write down what you see in brackets. and then read across the second line and write down what you see in brackets next to it. Once again, the slightly more grown-up way of writing this down would be to write it down without the one in front of that second x. So our final example answer is 3x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 5.